you can see now that I've finished with my scrubbing job and I have most of the paper fibers are now off, leaving the underlining uh, toner image here. Now, there's a couple things to mention. First off, you can see that there, yeah, there's some areas where, you know, some of the toner came off, but you can still see where the general picture is and actually kind of adds, um, it's very much something to go with. It adds neat effects uh, to kind of where you see some gouge, giving kind of like a ripped almost appearance that you just don't have in the original photocopy, which I have another copy of here, just for comparison pur comparative purposes. Something else to think of, I have actually left some paper fibers on here on the mast areas, the areas that are kind of lighter, over on the original photocopy, because I kind of like these to come out. It gives a depth, a thickness, um, kind of more of a three-dimensional effect to leave some of the paper fibers on here. So don't feel that every single last paper fiber has to be scoured and gouged off. That's not the truth. Oftentimes they can be used to kind of create additional effects for your photocopy transfer. I mean, what's more is that you can see that uh, you may have some areas where you have some lines and the stuff. That's fine. Um, you can scrub those off or leave them. I don't think it's really a strong case for either way. Uh, but now you have your good base photo transfer on your piece of wood. Next, I'd let this dry because you put a, added a lot of water on here to scrape it off before adding effects. Probably give it at least another couple hours or, again, conservatively, a day.